love is in the air at GT. We've always been passionate about games, but some characters really send our hearts aflutter. Typically, you can expect a heavily analyzed list where we truthfully try to get to the bottom of common trends in video games. But this list comes straight from the heart. Each of us confessed our secret obsessions and wrote them here to help us cope with the fact that these fine specimens don't actually exist, and then rank them based on shared admiration. These characters complete us, our top 10 video game valentines. But I think we can put our differences behind us for science. Latin for water, aqua fills the Kingdom Hearts universe with beauty, grace, and style not found anywhere else. With hair color as calm and cooling as the ocean, a modern yet classic cut, and a flattering outfit, it's hard not to be enraptured by her presence. Not only is she a radiating beauty, she's also a kind-hearted and strong woman who isn't afraid to go to her limits to protect those she loves and cares for. Stunning and cool, aqua is the perfect girl to take home to mom. If you're looking for the best of both worlds, you'll find it in Catherine. The choices you make while playing Atlas's 2011 puzzle platformer inform which of Vincent's gals you end up with, but either way, consider yourself a winner. Those of a more virtuous ilk may find themselves happily ever after with Vincent's bespectacled brunette Catherine with a K, whereas thrill-seekers, like ourselves, are drawn to the buxom blonde and devilishly fun Catherine with a C. Regardless of who you pick, these are two women you don't want to cross or your life may end up a living hell. This was a triumph. I'm making a note here, huge success. It's hard to overstate my satisfaction. GLaDOS, some might see you as a cold machine, a heartless AI only interested in testing the efficiency of your subjects. However, your need for control, your passive-aggressive statements, and your ability to manipulate us and make us feel guilty for simply trying to stay alive all remind us of certain women we've known. We think that there's more inside that hard shell. Behind the emotion-stimulating subroutines is a woman who simply wants to be respected and enjoy a piece of cake. We've gotten a glimpse of your sad history and we were even allies once. Just let go and let us bypass the firewalls keeping us from your heart. Oh Zangief, how we only want to feel your warm, burly embrace. Press us against your bear-like bosom and protect us from those cold Russian winters. They may call you the Red Cyclone, but we know deep down you're just a sensitive soul looking for love. Your pile drivers and lariats are exquisite examples of physical self-expression. Zangief, you've been misjudged, labeled as nothing more than a brute. Teach us your ways so we can become world warriors and prove everyone wrong together. The boss is a very serious person. Those who like intimate philosophical conversations about the meaning of love and life look no further. A date with the boss would definitely be an adventure consisting of grueling physical exercises and raw meat. She would most likely discuss the importance of relationships and human connections rather than waste time talking about materialistic possessions and other trivial matters. She could also teach you a thing or two about something called CQC. Chie's voice is a little nasally and loud, she doesn't always say the right thing, and she certainly isn't the most graceful person, but that never stops her. Somehow Chie is always bursting with positivity. Whenever things look grim, she tries her best to keep everyone optimistic. Even more endearing is that Chie just unabashedly loves things. Her passion for kung fu movies and all forms of steak may seem a little weird, but that enthusiasm is infectious. 
She reminds us that it's far better to be loud and proud than to cover up who you really are. Albert Wesker is a man who plays hard to get. He embodies the bad boy persona and loves to wear tight leather and dark sunglasses to hide his emotions. You may have a hard time getting him to open up, but that's part of the fun. Underneath this hidden facade is a tormented man that needs to be saved. Although he's been known to get jealous, particularly with affairs involving Chris Redfield, a little bit of love could be just the thing to change his motives from massive destruction to mega romance. One of the greatest joys in gaming is the privilege to truly embody a character. Commander, your strength, beauty, ingenuity, paragon slash renegade attitudes, customizability, you are the truest Valentine. Stepping into your shoes, living this wonderful space opera as you is such an unrivaled treat. We've made some tough decisions together. We don't always see eye to eye, but learning about you is what makes this relationship so special. We hear that there might be a Mr. Shepard out there somewhere. Why don't you leave him on your home planet and meet us back on the Normandy? The Twilight Princess loves to be playful with her canine companion, barking orders and teasing poor Link nearly every chance she can get. However, she proves herself to be a loyal friend that'll stick by your side no matter how dire the situation. Midna might be a bit feisty, but that's what makes her so alluring. She's one of the best characters we've seen in the series to date. If her initial appearance is a bit off-putting, we're sure her true form will knock you off your feet. Plus, being able to instantly teleport around the world has its benefits. And remember, she's royalty. galaxy's greatest bounty hunter first took us by surprise. We didn't initially know Samus was female, but after so many years together, we can't see anything but her in that glistening armor. Granted, she's not that social. Samus would rather plummet through the emptiest crevices of the universe than make casual conversation with friends and co-workers, but she has tons of confidence and charisma, and we're smitten. Even if she was real, we'd need a spacesuit, missiles, and a grappling beam just to keep up. We'd be willing to commute, see the stars in an extremely cool ship, and provide whatever radar operating map writing assistance would be required. Getting serious with Samus seems like undoubtedly hard work, but if she's willing to care for something as hideous as a baby Metroid, then maybe we have a chance. Mm -hmm. 